sorry, that's DJ. Good morning, everyone. I am Teacher Connie, and I will be your teacher in Science 5. Before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare the following. Today, I will discuss about determining the effects of changing the number or type of components in a circuit. Do you know what is an octopus connection? Octopus connection refers to the plugging of gadgets and appliances to a single extension wire and it is dangerous because it can cause fire. Now, let us focus to our topic. Study the picture. Label the numbered parts of an electric circuit. The basic parts of an electric circuit, or the four components of an electric circuit, are composed of number one, that is load or device. Two, power source or energy source 3 switch or controller and number 4 that is a wire or a conductor what do you think is the effect of changing the number of components in a circuit an electric circuit can be represented through a circuit diagram a circuit diagram uses signs and symbols to represent the actual electric circuit. It shows how the components of an electric circuit are connected together. We have here an electric circuit diagram. We have also the components and its symbols. Battery is the source or electricity. Wire is the pathway of electricity from the source. Switch is used to turn on or off a load. Load is an appliance or devices that uses electricity from a source. Examples, bulb, buzzer, and motor. Changing number of batteries or cells. Adding more batteries to a simple circuit will increase the electrical energy, which will make a bulb brighter. As more batteries are added in series, more current is available and the bulbs become brighter. When too much or too many batteries are added, the current is so great that the bulb may blow or fuse because too much heat is made by the filament burns out. Changing number of bulbs. Adding more bulbs to a simple circuit will make the bulbs dimmer. Changing length of wires. Lengthening the wires in a simple circuit will make the bulb dimmer. Longer the wire, the more resistance, so less electric current can flow and the bulb dimmer. Thicker the wire. Thicker the wire in a simple circuit will make the bulb brighter. Thicker the wire, less the resistance, so more electric current can flow. Let's try answering activity 1. Tell whether each activity is using electricity is safe or not safe. Write your answer on your paper.
Now let us check your answers. Number 1. Replacing broken wires or busted bulbs. Happy face. 2. Turning off the switch when not in use. Happy face. 3. Check your electrical connection twice a year. Sad face. 4. Asking your 3-year-old brother to turn on or off the switch. Sad face. And number 5. Using octopus connection in running your appliances. Sad face. If you got it right, bravo! For activity 2, write the component of each symbol in a circuit. Choose your answer from the chart. Number 1, battery. Number 2, switch. Number 3, wire. Number 4, lamp or bulb. Number 5, motor. If you got it right, you did it! For activity 3, choose the letter of the best answer. Write it on the space provided for. Let us check your answers. Number 1, letter B. Number 2, A. Number 3, A. Number 4, A. And number 5, A. If you got it right, congratulations! What have you learned? Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write on the space provided for.
us check your answers. Number 1, letter C. 2, letter D. 3, letter C. 4, letter A. 5, letter A. 6, letter B. 7, letter C. 8, letter A. 9, letter B. And 10, letter D. If you got it right, well done! I hope that you will always remember the things that you have learned today because learning is fun. Thank you for watching and listening.